Greetings, it's Shanique and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I made these delicious breadfruit tacos. Yes. So we're going to start off with a green breadfruit, slightly turned. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know that I get my breadfruit from Brothers in the Bronx. Okay, so we're going to peel it. I'm going to attempt to use this potato peeler and I'm telling you the breadfruit is too green for it so I had to just pick up my knife and just cut it but make sure you're cutting away from you you always cut away from you especially because it's so green and it's hard to peel you peel it off totally then I rinsed it off a little bit and now we're gonna slice it up so I'm going to slice um, from the side, okay? So we're just going to make sure um, we get thin, but not too thin slices. Um, and we're just going to cut that up just to make sure that um, we have the perfect size for our tacos. As you can see, it has some flexibility, but we're gonna need it to be softer than that. So I'm gonna flip it to the other side and we're gonna do, do the same thing. Here I have a large bowl and I'm adding some warm water to it, okay? So that's going to help our breadfruit to get soft. I'm using some pink salt. You're going to put it in the water there. Um, it's always good to soak breadfruit in salt water before you fry it. That way you don't have to sprinkle it on afterwards. So we're going to put all our slices in and we're going to just flip it over to make sure that both sides um get the same water bath right and this way it will help your breadfruit look at that it's nice and soft and easy it's easy to flex <laughs> now we're going to remove it from the water we're going to place it on some paper towel so you know we can't fry wet breadfruit right so we're going to use the paper towel to dab it dry and then we're going to set it up. So I'm using some toothpicks. You see how soft that is? Yes. So I'm using some toothpicks and I'm going to go through it and we're going to attach both sides together so that we could have that taco shell look, right? Now I have my frying pan on medium heat. You don't want it to be too hot, but hot enough to fry your breadfruit. So first we're going to try to do the base. Um, I had some difficulties with this uh, because, you know, it doesn't really stand up right. But what I did was I just used a bamboo spoon to go back and forth. So that way, um, you know, I try to fry all the sides evenly now I noticed that like on the sides you can't really get it with the toothpick so I had to remove the toothpick and then that way I could actually get the oil to fry on the inside of the breadfruit now I think with this recipe you have to use more oil this is best if you deep fry it like me. this is shallow frying right because even though it looks like a lot of oil, it's not enough for this. If you want to speed up the process and you don't have limited time, the best thing for you to do is deep fry it. More oil, so when you just drop it in there, you don't have to worry about flipping it from side to side. Now I'm going to put that on some paper towel and I'm going to finish up the rest of, of my breadfruit.
another pointer, try not to fry it too long on one side because it will be too crispy and you want it to be flexible, right? You still want to have that flexibility. So you flip it from side to side to ensure that it doesn't get too firm. Now time to add our filling. I made this raw cabbage salad with simple ingredients. I will be putting that recipe up soon. Some plantains, you know, sweet fried plantains go good with anything. And I made this protein. That recipe, you're gonna want it. It's actually made from soursop. Yes, soursop. A piece of avocado and some homemade tartar sauce. We're just gonna smother that up and look, I'm ready to go. Yes, you know all of this combination. You know say it tastes good. Look at it. Now, I just wanna say thank you all for who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Don't forget to leave a comment and like this video. If you wanna see more, just let me know. I have all the Ital Vital recipes for you. All right, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.